Hey everybody, welcome back to the G5 Family channel. Thanks for clicking in on this video. I hope you find it helpful. Today I'm going to be talking about shopping in the Philippines. And you might ask, you know, why? <laughs> and yes, there are a few reasons, okay? Before I dig in, let me just put some uh, premise to this. If you are thinking about moving to the Philippines or Indonesia, Malaysia, it doesn't matter. You know, if you're thinking about moving outside of the US or outside of, of your home country, there are going to be products that you're going to wish that you have access to or could find available. And after living here in the Philippines for a few years, there's quite a few items that are not available here in the Philippines. And there is not a local alternative that suits me, you know, whatever. OK, so I'm going to use a couple of real world examples. These are pretty simple. Uh, these are low cost items, but I think will help explain how I go about buying stuff and shopping here in the Philippines. All right, so let's dive right in. The first item I'm going to talk about, and again, this is, you know, kind of mundane, but, you know, Kirkland's, which is a Costco brand, uh, children's multivitamins, and then another item, uh, probably Walmart, but the Equate uh, compared to Excedrin extra strength caplets. Um, uh, pain relief, headache relief. So just a couple of mundane items that, uh, you know, you sort of take for granted going into Walmart or, or Kroger and, and picking up off the shelf. Well, here in the Philippines, it doesn't work that way. You go to the pharmacy, you tell them you need a men's multivitamin or a children's multivitamin, and they're going to have a, they're going to have a product, but it's sold per tablet. And that was one of the first things that just kind of shocked me. But, you know, you buy them per, they're going to ask you how many, sir, how many, what, you know? And so, uh, so rather than buying a bottle with 160 gummies, you're going to buy, you know, individual gummies. Okay. So let's just get into the process. Now I'm going to jump over here to my desktop. All right. And if you hear the kids in the background, they're just outside my office door here but okay so on the left hand side you'll see that I have Amazon pulled up I also have eBay pulled up and uh, Facebook marketplace and then on the right panel I have uh, an online marketplace called Shopee which is a local Southeast Asia online marketplace and then another one is called Lazada now these work very 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 similar to Amazon, uh, not as much eBay because they're, they're not auction sites, but they're more or less like a, an uh, alternative to Amazon. All right. So I go in here, I do my search and you can see I've already plugged this in. Go back over here to Amazon. OK, so you can see I've already done my search. Uh, I plugged in Kirkland's Children's Multivitamins and right there you can see the exact bottles that I am holding in my hand. All right, so the good news is I can find these locally. So let's do a quick comparison. All right, now when I scroll through here, uh, let's just, for giggles, let's just go up here and change this to low price to high. And this one right here, this single bottle pops up. The, one of the things that I like about it is it's preferred, which I'm not really sure what the criteria is. And then the, the second thing I always look for is the location. This is in Pasay City, Metro Manila, which is local in the Philippines as opposed to China or somewhere, you know, outside of the Philippines. So I'm going to click on this one. And then I will also tell you it's not free shipping. When I plug in my address, once I log in, uh, there will be now it may be free shipping to Metro Manila, but it's not going to be free shipping it to my province. So that's that's local. Now here on the Amazon side, you can see that the same product is sixteen dollars and forty cents compared to five hundred ninety nine pesos. That's about twelve dollars. So we're already saving about four dollars. I can tell you just based on experience, my shipping is going to be about one hundred and fifty pesos, which is about three dollars. So uh, all in all, I'm getting the product for about $15 compared to $16.40. Now, this says free shipping, 
but I can tell you right now, it's not free shipping to the Philippines, okay? Now, what I use for shipping to the Philippines, I use a company called Shipping Cart. Now, there are other companies that do the same thing, but this is essentially a freight forwarding company. Uh, they ship door to door. So they provide me by, you know, registering and signing up, which is free to sign up. I get a, what is called a virtual street address. And so in a, one of their warehouses in California, I have a, a virtual street address where I can order from Amazon, eBay, or Walmart. It doesn't really matter. I ship to this local, this uh, shipping cart address. The product is received in there. They do open it. They do look inside. They take photos of the contents just to make sure that everything is proper. And they upload this information to your cart so that you can look at the photos. You can, uh, you know, qualify that the product is legitimate and blah, 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 blah yourself. And then you click on it, you ship it, you pay the fee in it. And the, the reason why a shipping cart is so, so great is because as I said, it's door to door. Now you do pay a little bit. It's not, it's not free. It's not, it's cheap, but it's, it's reasonable. Okay. Because they save you all of the headaches of the customs paperwork and shipping international can be a real hassle uh, with shipping card. It's zero hassle. I ship to that address. As I said, they, they process the, the product. You, you look at it, you pay for it and they ship it. It arrives here at my door and there's no cost on my side. Uh, we have shipped things using DHL and I suddenly I'm having to pay equivalent to $20 for some unknown customs fee. With Shipping Cart, you never have that problem. So Shipping Cart has really become my good friend. And then on top of that, they have, uh, right now I have five virtual addresses around the world. I've got uh, the US of course, I've got Australia, uh, Japan, uh, the UK, and maybe China. I know I have five five addresses that I can ship products within those countries to that shipping cart address and then, you know, forward it on to me here in the Philippines. So shipping cart has worked out really, really well. Now you see my scheme here. So I do my comparisons across the uh, you know, I've got uh, Shopee here. I've got Lazada here. These are my two primary online marketplaces here in Southeast Asia. I compare those prices to Amazon or eBay or Walmart.com. Um, and then, you know, once I make my buying decision, I ship them to shipping cart, which then forwards the product to me here in the Philippines. Okay, pretty easy. It's just a little bit of math, figuring out which is the best solution, you know, cost wise and all that. Now, I do want to I want to jump back over uh, and talk about another thing here. Um, one thing that I'll mention when it comes to bigger ticket items and, and this week, this past week, I bought a phone. Now, <clears throat> obviously, I went to my local resources and just because of what I know after living here in the Philippines for a year, few years, it's a little bit on the risky side to order big ticket items locally. Now, I don't want to say that it can't be done, but it's just risky because there are a lot, a lot, a lot of knockoff products. Uh, and when I say knockoff, I'm talking about, uh, It'll have the logo. Uh, I have right here. I actually bought these and I knew good and well that these were, were not Bose. They were not Bose uh, ear plug, earbuds, but they were $20 for the pair rather than what is it? $150, $200 for a, a pair of real Bose. So I thought for 20 bucks, I'll try them. And I actually use them. Do they have the best sound? Nope, they don't but they, they work well enough for uh, video conferencing and things like that. And they actually work. The, the Bluetooth works great. <laughs> so, so for 20 bucks, but again, when you're gonna spend money on something like a phone, you're running a risk. So you'll notice here that I have Facebook Marketplace pulled up. The phone I bought, uh, and don't laugh at me, I, I'm using a six year old Samsung Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy S6 
uh, Edge Plus, I think is the exact model. So the first thing I did was I went on Facebook Marketplace just to see if I could find a phone, the S10 Plus, if I could find it uh, at a reasonable price. And lo and behold, here's a couple of instances. Uh, here's one. Uh, the thing I like about phones that are shipped to Southeast Asia is their dual SIM. Uh, that's nice because you can have two two different phone carriers. But uh, but I'm just going to use this this example right here. This is an S10 Plus, um, 128 gig, uh, factory unlocked, open line um, for 17,000 pesos, which is about three hundred and forty dollars yeah about three hundred forty dollars the other thing I liked about it is it comes with all these additional accessories and things like that now unfortunately I talked to them and they didn't really want to fool with shipping it to me I don't know why but they didn't want to ship it to me so <laughs> I'm kind of like well okay I ended up going back to eBay and I'm not gonna bother pulling it up but I went back uh, to eBay and I, I shopped and shopped and shopped. And of course, you know, eBay offers a gazillion options uh, for, for phones and, you know, certified refurbs or, uh, you know, store refurbed, uh, you know, used phones. And I finally landed on a phone that I felt very comfortable with. The, the eBay store had, you know, thousands of good reviews and blah, 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 blah. Okay. And I paid $300 for the phone. Now the shipping is going to cost me. I shipped it. It's already shipping. It's went to shipping cart and my cost of shipping is about $22. So all said and done, I'm getting a brand new Samsung phone. It's brand new open box. Uh, it's an, it's three year old model, but nevertheless, it's new to me uh, for $320, give or take by the time I ship it. Okay. So, uh, now the phone has yet to arrive, but but I'm sharing all that to say that when it comes to uh, the bigger ticket type items, you're probably going to want to look at at different options just to uh, make sure that number one, it's legitimate. It's not a a, uh, a knockoff. For that matter, Samsung phones, Samsung proper is manufactured in Vietnam, and so there are manufacturing companies in Vietnam that make knockoff Samsung phones. They have the Samsung logo and everything is, you know, supposedly the same exact phone and for a literal fraction of the cost. In fact, I thought about buying one of those phones just to play with it and see if it's legit, if it works, uh, more or less as a test because they are that cheap. I mean, we're talking 50, $60 for a quote unquote brand new Samsung phone. But I haven't done that yet, so I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe sometime I'll do that. But in any case, the main the main reason for this video was to more or less help you guys who are thinking about moving to the Philippines to understand that you can get the products that you need. Now, one thing I didn't mention at the top is where we live in the province. Our city is about 120,000 population. We do have grocery stores. We do have uh, we don't have major malls, I'll just put it to you that way, and we don't have any big name stores here. So uh, I spent a good bit of time in Manila, and when I was there, there were, there were more choices, there were more resources, but still not like, you're not going to walk into a Walmart or a Target um, and find the things that you need. So, so I have had to learn how to source those items that I, I cannot find here. Um, you know, when it comes to, you know, vitamins and clothing, I'm a big guy, so I have to buy my clothes from the US. Otherwise they just, the clothes here don't, they, they're made for small people. They don't fit me. So, uh, so, you know, I've learned the processes for buying both everyday type items all the way up to bigger ticket items, such as a phone and how to get those. Now, what's been really cool, there's been a couple of instances where we have friends coming next week and we did a Walmart order for them, shipped it to their house and they're packing it in their luggage for us. So we'll get some uh, get some treats next week when they arrive. So, you know, we just get creative and we find a way to get the things that we need here. And 
more and more and more of this, you know, Amazon is, does ship to the Philippines. I ordered a computer hard drive a few months ago. The shipping was like $40. It wasn't too bad uh, to ship all the way here. And the order only took about maybe 10 days or so. Um, so, you know, uh, the world is getting smaller, folks. It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, so don't fear. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I love making these videos and I'll probably do a follow on once I get a, a set of questions back. But if you are thinking about moving to the Philippines, uh, there are ways to get the products you need. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching, especially if you stayed on to the end. Please, if you find this information helpful or fun to watch, click the like button. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that you've already subscribed and things like that. So uh, have yourself a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.